Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a Dymo Letratag label printer with a battery low error. I'll be going over how to fix it easily in this very simple tutorial. Let's get right into the video. So if you have a Dymo Letratag label printer just like this, this is the 100H, but it also follows, these steps will follow with any of the Dymo Letratag label printers that are available. Um, and if you're getting a battery low error, these are some simple steps to fix it easily. Um, and it's a very simple tutorial. Now I do apologize about the poor lighting. I know if I go like this, it's gonna throw everything off. So I'm gonna keep it over here. <clears throat> so four easy steps. You can try each of these and hopefully one of them works for you. I'm gonna go through them rather quickly. Number one, very simply put, Replace the batteries. I know you think that you might have put fresh batteries in there, but in reality, maybe you didn't. When I first got this label printer, I put what I thought were fresh batteries in there and it didn't work and it kept saying battery low. It was fine, but every time I tried to print, it would say battery low. I could use it, but when I tried to print, it wouldn't print and it would say battery low. And then I did some multimeter testing with the batteries and I determined that those batteries are actually low. Even though I thought they were fresh, they weren't. They were in my box that I keep full of batteries. I store it, you you know, nice and high and at the top level of a closet in my office. And you know, sometimes I get batteries, I use them for something, I take them out and I think they're still good, so I just put them back in the box. Um, and in reality, those batteries weren't fresh, so just pop open the battery cover, try replacing the batteries and see if that works, okay? That's the first step. The second thing that you can try to do is to remove the battery. So pop open the battery cover, remove the batteries over there. Okay, once the batteries are out, I want you to hold down the on off button for about 10 seconds and that will Will hopefully drain the residual power inside of the unit and then you can replace the batteries back in there and try using it see if that gets rid of the battery low error sometimes you just need like a soft reset so and to do that you basically remove the batteries hold down the on off button which drains all the residual power um, sort of like how you would do this with a computer before you worked on it and stuff like that you unplug it you hold down the power button for 10 seconds gets rid of basically the residual power in there and then put the batteries back in make sure they're fresh batteries and they have a good voltage and try it out hopefully get that gets rid of the error number three um, turn it on so turn the unit on okay and then there's a clear button over here you want to first try just pressing clear and then it's gonna say clear all and then hit OK to clear all and see if that fixes it if that doesn't work press and hold down the clear button for about 10 seconds once again, it's going to say clear all press OK and hopefully that works um, it's just like a simple clear and then a more substantial clear and then the last thing that you want to do is number four which is to actually remove the cassette so just take off uh, open up the cover over here remove the cassette okay give it a little wiggle and a little shake and then put it back in place sometimes it's like a paper jam or a tape jam that's causing the problem and then try and get it to work then hopefully you get rid of that battery low error or that battery error at that point very simple fixes four of them hopefully one of them works for you and that is truly it if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching